All right, so other than performing table joins, you can also create spatial joins um, in ArcGIS Pro. So how this is different from a table join is that instead of using a common attribute or field, you're using spatial co-occurrence. So features that occur within other features can take on the attributes of those features. So specifically, here what I'm wanting to do is obtain the attributes for each county on the airports that occur within the county. So in the new air, in the airport attribute table, I want all the county, county attributes in which it occurs. Okay, so that can be performed using a simple, uh, a simple spatial join. So if you want to find that in the toolbox, it's under toolboxes, the analysis toolbox, and then overlay, and then spatial join. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up uh, pretty quickly. It's pretty easy. So the target feature is the feature that you're wanting to add the attributes to. So in this case, we want to add the attributes to the airports. So I'm going to grab the airports layer. And then the join features is what you're wanting to join to it. So in this case, it'll be the counties. And there's a lot of other settings here which we don't really need to go through in this case. Um, so we'll hit run. Note that this actually will produce a new output. It's not just adding it to the original layer. You're going to get a new point attribute or a point uh, uh, feature class or shape file. So we're an open attribute table, this new layer. And as you can see, we now have on the back end, all of these fields came from the county in which that, or in which that uh, airport occurred. So this isn't something you can do with just tabulated data because it relies on spatial uh, co-occurrence. So this is something that is unique to spatial data.